Hello everyone and welcome back to Miss Ramoser's temporary classroom away from Viewlands Elementary. I'm so happy that you are here with me today, so thank you for taking this time to grow your brain. Today we are going to read a story about a beautiful boy. This story is called My Cold Plum Lemon Pie Bluesy Mood. But before we read this story, we need to place where we are on the mood meter. So today, Miss Ramoser is feeling very heavy. There are a lot of things that are happening in our world that make people feel sad. There are some people that are being hurt just because of the color of their skin, and that's not okay. So today, my mood is kind of all the way down here in the blue zone, and I also notice that on top of feeling sad, I also feel tired, I actually, I kind of have a tummy ache and I'm noticing that sometimes if we're really, really sad, things might happen to our body that we don't usually notice. For instance, we might notice that our head hurts or we have a tummy ache. Sometimes those are just ways that our body feels sad with us and that's okay. So I want you to take a moment to think about how your body feels today, what zone you are in. If you have been watching the news or if you have heard any news from maybe a parent or a friend or a loved one, you might know that there are some things that are happening in our world that are not okay. So I want to remind you right now that there is always a way that you can show love in our world by being kind to everybody that you see. Sometimes we might feel scared because we notice that other people have differences that might look different or sound different or seem different and it's okay for you to sometimes feel that you have a difference from somebody else and feel a little bit nervous about that. Sometimes we know that the differences that we find in one another actually end up bringing us closer together so that we can have more friends. Something that you might notice is that you might see someone else who has a skin color that looks different than yours. Maybe you see friends who have darker, beautiful skin like this, or maybe you see friends who have skin that looks a little bit caramel like this, or maybe you have friends that look like Mr. Moser, white. Sometimes people feel uncomfortable when they see people who are different than them and it makes them do things that are not okay. For instance, we never want to be mean to someone because we feel scared. It's okay for you to be curious about differences that you notice in your friends and loved ones and even people that you don't know. We want to make sure that everybody who lives on this planet is seen for who they are on the inside. I have lots of friends who have dark skin and light skin and medium color skin and it's important that we know that we all look different but what's really important is that we treat each other all the same. We want to make sure that we love everybody no matter what they look like because what really matters is what's on the inside. The reason why Ms. Ramoser is talking about this today is because there have been some people in our world who have not been nice to people whose skin is darker than mine. There have been people who have actually been hurt or even killed because there are other people who are so scared of these differences that they see in one another. Now, when I think about my friends and people that I see, I know that sometimes I might notice differences. That's okay. We want to make sure that we love and treat everybody the same way. What's really important is if you ever see somebody who's not being nice to somebody else, you've already learned what you can do in this situation. If you know that you are watching someone be mean or not use kind words or even hurt somebody else, you should go to a teacher or an adult. That way, the adult or the teacher that you go to can help make sure that everyone is being treated with the respect and love that they deserve. If we start thinking about ways that we can love people who look different from us right now, then when you grow up, you have the power to make our world a more loving place. How cool is that? So, 
Please forgive me for, I know that was a lot of words I used. Some of it might have seemed a little bit confusing. That's okay. If it did, you can go back and watch part of this video with a parent or an adult that you trust, or just know that this is a conversation that we will keep having. The most important thing is that I love you and lots of people love you and everybody in this world matters and is important. So today's story is My Cold Plum Lemon Pie Bluesy Mood. This story is written by Tamika Fryer Brown and illustrated by Shane W. Evans. I just noticed that our main character doesn't actually have a microphone. He's using a tennis ball and I think that might be a toilet paper roll. He seems pretty creative. I'm in a mood. A feeling kind of mood. A being kind of mood is what I'm in. A purple kind of mood. Cold plum eating, grape juice drinking, on the couch, bobbing to the beat kind of mood. A purple kind of mood. That's what I'm in. Move! Now I'm headed to a gray kind of place. Storm brewing inside that I hide because I don't want any trouble space. Dark and swelling, looming, gloomy gray kind of place. That's what I'm in. Aww. Jamie, can you draw me a dragon? Ah, oh, wow. Slowly I ease into gentle green, a dragon dancing in the jungle on some jello green. Little sis smiling really wide green, even let her kiss my cheek. Easy green mood, that's what I'm in. Aww, how sweet, it's crayon time. Aw man. That pesky older brother's making fun of Jamie again. Mad. So mad my moon turns black. Black hole inside screams, take it back. But I swallow that. Stop. No more hugs, brooding black mood. That's what I'm in. Yo, Jay, let's hit the court. Be back before dark. Oh, it looks like a friend has asked him to come play. Bump, bump, bip, bip, bap. Orange mood, moving, schooling to the hoop. Swish, J in your face, doing what I do. Swish, fake left, slide right. Swish and swish, sweet orange mood, that's what I'm in. I wonder what all those swishes were about. Do you think maybe it could be the sound of the basketball going into the net? Oh no, the street lights! And I'm gonna be late. Oh, I remember here that Jamie's, that Jamie's dad said that when the street lights turn on, it was time for him to go home. I can make a connection with that because that was a way that I knew it was time for me to go home when I was a kid. Red, run! Gotta get home! Fire engine roaring down the street. Hot flames shooting from my feet. Don't stop to take a breath till I make it through the door. Red, whoo! Raced the dark and made it in. Wash your hands, everybody. Dinner's ready. Ooh, what type of mood's he gonna be in now? Shake me, shove me into brown. This time I won't be pushed around. Planted, fierce, not backing down. Grr, big, strong brown. I win. <laughs> mm. 
Now when I look at this photo, I see he's pushing up against the door so that he can have some privacy in the bathroom. It looks like the whole family wants to come in too. Smells good. Watch out. Hey, I was there. Rowdy, hungry, yellow mood. Dinner full of payday food. Baked corn pudding, bless this meal. Curry chicken, that's my piece. Loud talk, laughter, lemon pie. Lively yellow mood, that's what we're in. Your turn to wash the dishes, Jamie. That's okay. Cool blue okay. Time with myself in my own space. Hands swirling round in liquid peace. Sailing on waves. In the sky of my mind, a bluesy kind of mood. That's what I'm in. Yeah, I'm in a mood. A feeling kind of mood. A being kind of mood is what I'm in. I'm noticing that even though his older brothers were giving him a little bit of a tough time earlier, they're all together now. And they're all sending love to each other. Brothers. A living, breathing, cold, plum eating, being kind of mood. That's what I'm in. Ooh, cold plums. That sounds really yummy. So when we read this story, I noticed a lot of similarities between this character and myself. For instance, it seems like we all love being around the table eating dinner together. I definitely love to eat cold plums. And also, I remember some similarities from when I was about his age, how I would play outside and then when the street lights would turn on, I knew that was time for me to go home. What is a way that you can connect to this character? How is your life similar to Jamie's? How is your life maybe different? For instance, I noticed that Jamie had more than one sibling. I just have one brother, but I think he had two. So that's one difference that Jamie and I had. Thank you so much for sitting with me and reading today. I know that sometimes when we have tough conversations, it's a little bit difficult for us to feel like we are in a safe space. And so I just would like to let everybody know that I am trying my best to be a good teacher to all students right now. Thank you for listening and thank you for being with me. Bye everybody.